And we are now seeing great confirmations of the Dragon spacecraft making its return back to Earth right now. <laughs> and while we are in a blackout period, this is an excellent view, seeing Dragon from the ground uh, as it's re-entering back into Earth's atmosphere. Now that blackout period is expected to conclude at 2.25 a.m. Pacific time. So just a couple more minutes here, um, and then hopefully we'll get some comms back between the core and the crew. But in the meantime, at least got some cool yeah. views of the crew almost back down here on Earth. <laughs> exactly right. And, and you know, making, making that kind of visual confirmation is such an important part of what we're tracking today. We're tracking a lot of very dynamic operations. And so being able to see what we see on the screen there is incredibly important for, uh, for mission controllers. Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. Again, we may not hear the crew until they do get those comms back, that acquisition of signal. Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. SpaceX, Dragon, we have you loud and clear. Dragon, we have you the same. Expect automated shoot deployment. Dragon copies, automated shoot deploy. And great news, as yeah. you heard there, we got comms we from got the comms. X4 crew. That's exactly what we're waiting <laughs> for, and I love that you can hear the excitement in Peggy's voice, too. Yeah. It's like she's done this before. Uh, maybe a few times. A few times. <laughs> great live view on your screen inside of Dragon as they are uh, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, and we did hear uh, confirmation that there will be the automatic drogue and parachute um, deployment coming up here shortly. And on your screen with that great live view. GPS converge, expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Copy, nominal GPS shoot deploy. Now we're going to hear a lot of comms um, back and forth throughout these uh, last five minutes here as uh, the core will be calling out uh, their altitude as they're making their way down, as well as the when the drogue parachutes deploy and the main parachutes deploy. Uh, and then as they get closer and closer to Earth, just keeping the crew updated with how close they are before splashdown so that they can expect that splashdown. Exactly right. Exactly right. And those are the things that that crew that you're seeing there on the left side of your screen are following along uh, with their with their, uh, their onboard telemetry. Um, and for you at home as well, you can see on your screens as well, um, things like vehicle speed, vehicle altitude. Um, all those are really important metrics that we're trying to understand uh, as part of the visual confirmations, the, uh, the audio communications or the verbal communications that we've gotten with crew. And we're also getting vehicle communications um, and telemetry to all understand how we're looking uh, as we lead up to these, these next four minutes before. And there you can see on your screen, the seats are rotating. For the crew, this prepares them for that splashdown, so they do... Brace for drogue window. Uh, they do reorient the crew depending on the dynamic events that are happening, so the crew does lean back uh, during re-entry. Crew is brace. And then they are sitting up a little bit more upright uh, for those drogue and main parachutes to deploy. That's right, having them in that position helps distribute the forces correctly so that when they're experiencing that dynamic event, they're as comfortable as they can possibly be. Yeah, we're now waiting for confirmation that the Dragon's chutes have deployed coming up here just in under uh, a minute or so. Uh, just prior to the deployment of the initial drogue chutes, Dragon automatically safes the propulsion system. Dragon then deploys its drogue parachutes to stabilize and decelerate the vehicle. Then just before drogue deployment, seats automatically rotate to 26 degrees, which we just saw there, to keep the crew within acceptable G limits um, for entry and landing. And Excellent view. Great view. Drogue parachutes are deployed. You looking forward. Drogue descent rate nominal. Descent rate nominal, copy. Again, we're going to hear a lot of comms throughout mm -hmm. this next three minutes here. This is looking forward on the Dragon spacecraft up at the chutes. Those drogue parachutes are fully deployed now. 
So we do expect those main parachutes to deploy here shortly. If you're just joining us, we have now confirmed that the AX4 crew on their return home is roughly two and a half minutes out from splashdown and our main chutes have deployed. Main shoot descent rate nominal. Copy, main shoot descent rate nominal, a thousand uh, meters for driving. We copy 1,000 meters. Great visual confirmation as well as those comms that the four main parachutes have deployed. Again, we are going to be slowing down the vehicle from 350 miles per hour all the way down to just about 15, 16 miles per hour by the time that the vehicle touches down and splashes down uh, into the ocean. Exactly right. You know, you mentioned these beautiful visual confirmations that we're getting. You know, an important aspect of, of today's specific splashdown is that it's occurring in a, at Perfect. night. Dragon 800. Copy, 800 meters. Commander Peggy Whitson confirming the spacecraft's altitude as it's making its descent into the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of San Diego in Southern California. Yes, love that it's coming off the coast of my hometown. <laughs> 600 meters. 600 meters. And at 600 meters, we're just under a minute before that expected splashdown. The landing in water is a lot simpler and more reliable, uh, provides a little bit of margin uh, against unlikely parachute issues. Uh, we do learn, we did have to learn how to make Dragon waterproof as we are splashing mm -hmm. down into the ocean. Space but space. SpaceX copies 400 meters, reminder to brace for splashdown. Oh, that's a pretty cool view. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, maintaining the vehicle signature through things like cloud lighter and any kind of atmospheric disturbance allows us to maintain visual contact with the vehicle as it's making its final descent towards <laughs> water landing. And it's a little foggy, as you can see there. Yeah, Pacific fog um, is rolling in. <laughs> we've got some very bright lights uh, as Dragon, uh, you can see the ocean there. Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crews um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of the of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AX4 crew back on planet Earth. Welcome home. Perfect. Hey, splashdown. Uh, we are in stable one. SpaceX copies splashdown and stable one. On behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. And thanks for the great ride and the safe trip, and Grace is happy to be back. <laughs> we are happy to have you back home safely as well. <laughs> 